Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Welcome to Bible class. I am so glad that you came. Today, we are going to talk about a special meal. Can you think of a time that you had a special meal, maybe with your family? There are several that I can remember. Maybe, maybe you remember one that was maybe for a birthday, or maybe it was at Christmas time, or maybe it was at Thanksgiving. Or many times we gather around a table and we share a meal to remember things or to celebrate things. Well, today we're going to read about an important meal that Jesus shared with his disciples. And you can read about it in your beginner Bible. This story is called The Last Supper. Let's read it together. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces. See him breaking that piece of bread? He gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, This bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine and blessed it, and he gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. See him passing all that around for the disciples. The time has come for me to go away. Where I am going, you cannot go yet. I am going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you. But I will return to you soon. See him explaining, I'm going to heaven to prepare a place for you. At first, you will be very sad. But do not be frightened. Soon you will understand and you will be filled with joy. He's telling him, don't be sad. It's okay. There's a plan all along. So what happened in our story today? Jesus, he, he had bread and he gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it around to the disciples so that they could all have some. He wanted his disciples to remember something. Do you remember what it was? He said, this, this is my body. It's given for you, so that after he was gone, whenever they did this, they would think of him. They would remember him. Then he did the same thing with the wine. Now, they call it wine. It's also basically grape juice. And so he gave everybody some wine or some grape juice to drink. He wanted them to think of him and to remember him whenever they drank it, that his blood was poured out to wipe away all of theirs and all of our sins. Now, you may remember seeing us in church taking what we call communion each Sunday. Uh, right now, we're, we're mostly all doing that at home still. But communion is where the adults and those other people that have been baptized, they all take a piece of bread and they drink some grape juice. And they do that to remember the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus that was sacrificed by Jesus to save us from our sins. Now, you've probably heard other words for that, like communion, or maybe you've heard people call it the Lord's Supper. Now, I actually have some communion bread that, that I made. Um, you can see right here, this is, this is what we call unleavened bread, because at the Passover, when the Last Supper was, they didn't put yeast in the bread to make it poofy and fluffy, like if you've had big rolls, they're fluffy. This is very flat bread. And then I also have some grape juice. You've probably seen 
grape juice before, but, but that's what we have here. These are very important to us as Christians because they help us to remember each time we eat the bread and we drink the juice, we remember Jesus and the sacrifice that he made for us. But why did Jesus sacrifice himself to take away our sins? Why would somebody do that? really think it's very simple and it's because Jesus loves me he loves everybody he loves you he loves everybody in the world that ever has been and ever will be so I want to sing our song one more time to remind us that Jesus loves us Jesus loves me this I know for the Bible tells me so Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Today, instead of having a little craft that I usually would show you right now, I want to link a video in the description here. And it is a video, actually, of me making this communion bread. So you can, with your family, you can make some more communion bread. It's very flat. You don't have to use it for communion. You can actually just eat it. But I want you to think about Jesus and what he did for us as you make that. And you can experience that with your family together. Let's go ahead and we'll pray, and then we'll be done with Bible class today. God, we thank you so very much for loving us and for loving us enough that Jesus came into this world and that he was a sacrifice for us. And we thank you for this unleavened bread and this juice that help us to remember the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus that paid the sacrifice penalty for our sins. Thank you for loving us and thank you for saving us through him. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, thank you for coming to Bible class today, and I hope that you learned something, and I hope that you have a good week, and I will see you on Wednesday. Have a good week.